Welcome to Let's Play Black Belt on the Sega Mar system. Um, yeah, it's sort of like a really old beat 'em up, um, and it's quite—it can be quite tricky. I've recently written uh, a guide for game FAQs for this, so I thought I'd finally get round uh, after doing a playthrough of this game uh, to tie in with the release of my of my uh, um, guide on game FAQs. Yeah, so you just fight loads of generic, uh, identical enemies, which are really easy. It's best to punch them because um, because uh, cause the kicks can uh, can sometimes be tricky. They never stop coming, so you have to keep moving forward all the time. This is the first mini boss axe thrower. You just have to get him four times, and then he dies. And then um, yeah, that red Chinese symbol I got at the start, that's, that gives you invincibility for 9 hits, or 10 hits, I think it's 9. And the sushi gives you about a quarter of your total health back. And after you do a mini boss, you get about an eighth of your total health back. So if you don't keep moving forward, the enemies never stop coming. Never ever stop coming. So you must keep moving forward. Some more sushi there, so it got my health up. Yeah, these men are supposed to be um, kung fu men or something. I don't, I don't really know Chinese boxers. This is the second mini boss, this staff wielder or whatever he's called. There we go, just four hits. So just keep moving forward. No, don't worry about the uh, Chinese sim. I don't know what it says, but uh, it gives you nine hits of invincibility. I don't really need it in this level. The, the only levels you need it on are levels four and five, really, because they're quite tough. Yeah, this is the sword, um, the sword man. I always, I used to think when I first played this 12 years ago that he was a pirate or something, or, or a sailor. It's just, just best to let him jump and then just uh, punch his legs when he falls. It's easy. Yeah, you can kick and low punch, but you don't want to do the low punches really in the first stage. They're pretty, or the low kick. They're pretty useless. It's best just to punch or kick, or you can do a jump kick like, like that. There we go. But uh, it's best just to stand and punch. Yeah, that, I think the background graphics are really good in this, but the the sprite graphics are pretty bad. Uh, well, not bad, just basic. Yeah, this man, he doesn't move back when you punch him. He's just sort of, sort of like a fat man. I don't know what his fighting style is. just sort of generally tries to beat you up. I don't know really, I don't really know. But he's pretty easy. He doesn't move back. You just punch him repeatedly. Alright, first boss. Yeah, the graphics change. Uh, Ryu, or Ru, whatever his name is. Um, he will start attacking as soon as he stops moving. And that's the only time you can attack him is when he's attacking you, so just get him and then move backwards. It's best to punch, because if you kick, it doesn't take that much health off. That's it, and then if you corner him, you can just go mad on him. And once all his health is gone, Ricky goes mad on him himself, but you can't do this move yourself. He only does it when you've defeated him. He does it automatically. Yeah, you get a new life every 100,000, well, for, for the first, you get a new life when you get to 100,000 points, and you get another life when you get to 300,000 points, and then that's it, I think, so you can only have um, five lives in total, if you don't lose any. Uh, uh, second level, these are supposed to be wrestlers, but they don't really wrestle, they just sort of high kick you and, uh, and, uh, and um, do a lot of jumping. Sometimes they jump off the screen. I don't think... Uh, more than three enemies are in this on the screen at any one time, really, but it's best not to let them crowd you, especially on the later levels. And again, it's best to punch because the punch is the quickest attack. Yeah, this is actually a tough mini boss, um, uh, Lion Tamer Whip Man. He's just he's difficult to get because sometimes the kicks just don't work. Just uh, keep trying. It's best to punch him when he lands, but that's tricky. There we go, got him. See, you can kick, but it's, they take slightly longer, so it gives them more time to attack you. Like that. So it's best to punch the enemies all the time, I think. Yeah, the background graphics are really good, although a bit repetitive, but uh, that's, that's a plus point for this, of, it, of this game. Alright, so... Yeah, you can punch the knives down, which is a bit unrealistic, but yeah. This mini boss is again quite tough. He's the last mini boss of this level. Uh, there are four in the first one and two in the in the second level. Um yeah, just that's it. One more hit. 
try kicking him. There we go, got him. Get the uh, the sushi for health. Yeah, it gets up a quarter of your total health, I think. And after you do a mini boss, if you still need more health, it gets you a um, gives you about an eighth of your total health back, just a little bit. There we go. That's it. Just keep moving forward. This is Hawk, uh, the second boss. If you punch him, it doesn't do much damage, and if you kick him, it does more. But if you keep punching him, Ricky eventually changes his punching style to uppercut, and then the punch gets as powerful as the kick. See, I'm now doing uppercuts, and it's now powerful, but the winning blow is always a kick, and, th and then Ricky does um, lightning-fast kicks on him to kill him. If you notice the graffiti says, um, mmm, go, you, and fight. I don't know why they added that. I suppose they wanted to make it like a like an urban urban slum sort of look. But uh, it doesn't really work. Nice try though. Um yeah level three there's only one mini boss in this and the enemies are easier than the last level. I think they're supposed to be jujitsu men. There we go. Pretty easy, they don't really jump, just might as well get that. Um, yeah, and be sure to get the Chinese symbols, they're pretty helpful. But they do go past pretty quickly. This, he's like, this one is like the he's like the sword man from level one, but uh but he's has hooks instead. And that's it, or whatever they are, sickles or something. I don't really know what they look like hooks, but he's really easy. There you go, that's it. And then we on to Gonta, the the sumo wrestler. He's uh he has a strategy, just jump over when when if you get too far away from him he'll he'll charge. So just be uh, so just be sure to you little git. So just be sure to jump over him. No. Just be sure to jump over him like that and then just when he's jumping, just uh, move away. And then just uh Keep punching him and moving him, moving back to avoid his palm attacks. There we go. There we go. Done. He yeah, lost a bit of health there because he was being a bit tricky with his charging, but uh, he's ultimately easy. Although he, when I first played this 12 years ago, he was the first boss I actually had any difficulty on. Yeah, the, the first two bosses I think uh, are very easy, but. Uh, he he was actually quite difficult to work out the strategy. It took me about a day. Um, right, fourth level. It says two uh, um, two enemies. The sword man, it, sword men, which are actually quite tr quite tricky because they have long reach, and the eagles, which are best ignored. You can kill them, but they, they're just easily avoided. Yeah, you want that, believe me. Um, right, first boss. This annoying thing, person, one with a chain whip thing. Just jump over him when he does it. If you punch him off screen, he'll he'll charge back. That's it. Just keep doing that, and only attack him with jump kicks because he's uh he seems to um, whip relentlessly if you if you approach him. So just um, give him a wide berth. There we go. That got me that eagle or bird. Oh, there's a lot of enemies now. There, I got them. Yeah, you can get the eagles if you jump kick them, but uh, it's not really worth it. Right, these two men, this is a middle boss on their own. It's best to concentrate on one. That's it. One more hit. Go away. God. Look at him. Got him. Right, then concentrate on the other one. Yeah, thank you. Really annoying, that boss. You, you can have a lot of difficulty with them because there's two of them. It's just best to concentrate on one. Good, another one. Best to concentrate on one, and then, um, yeah, sometimes there's only one of those Chinese uh, symbols in, in this level. There's two in this one, which is quite lucky. Um, yeah, best to concentrate on one of those enemies, and then, and then, uh, and then attack the other one. Don't try and attack both at once. Right, only, I'll pause it here. Um, lots of people who play this game, um, they think that the only strategy with Oni is to get hit and then punch when he punches you, because if you ever try and punch Oni, he'll punch, he'll duck and punch you back. If you try and um, kick him, he'll duck and punch you, and he won't get hurt. If you try and duck and punch or kick him, he'll, he'll jump kick you, and it's basically, you can only ever hurt him when he's attacking. 
Um, and lots of people I've seen other videos and other other and uh, lots lots of videos and other people on the uh, on YouTube and everything think that you can only you can only punch only if you take take damage as well and um except that when when your health bar is is completely is is completely um spent you you can still take one more hit before dying um so when when your health bar is black um um, Ricky still needs one more hit to die, whereas only when his health bar goes black um, is dead immediately. So if you keep if you if you keep giving an eye for an eye, just punching him when he punches you, you'll both lose all your health, but only will die and Ricky won't. Uh, so that's the the strategy that uh, people think is is good for only, but um, the, the strategy is flawed because sometimes you'll miss and it, and um, and then you'll have less health than he has. And then, because of that, um, if you keep doing the eye for an eye thing after that, he'll eventually win. So um, it's not a good strategy to defeat him. the 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 best strategy that I discovered afterwards, after I realised that strategy was flawed, is if you just um, eventually um, he will punch without being provoked. Normally, he only punches when you pu when you punch him. But uh, if you wait a while, he will eventually punch unprovoked. And and you can just stand just away from him and he won't be able to reach and as soon as he does that um, move in and punch him back I'll, I'll demonstrate but don't try any other attack um, kicking or f jump kicking or anything only punch when he punches it's, it's very careful see if I punch him now he'll do that see so just keep just giving a wide berth that's it and as soon as he punches punch back just keep backing away from him and as soon as he punches, punch, um, move in immediately and punch back. Like that. Perfect, see? And I'm getting the health off without him hurting me, which is the important thing here. So you don't need that stupid flawed um, strategy of of an eye for an eye. I was, I was too late there. Yeah, you don't need that stupid flawed strategy of an eye for an eye. Um, you just have to punch um, when, when he punches like that. So just two more hits and he's dead. Um, I will just pause again to explain something. Um, I've played this game twice before, this this boss twice before, and there's been a glitch. Um, when you defeat Oni, um, Ricky doesn't do the lightning fast punches or kicks on him. Oni disappears and just leaves his, his red mask down. Um, and for some reason, um, Ricky has to walk over the red mask or sort of be near it and go over it and walk back a bit. Um, you'll see when I defeat him. Um, and sometimes, if you defeat Oni on the edge of the screen, um, or sometimes the red mask is, is just is just glitched and doesn't appear, um, Ricky will just be walking against the screen for eternity, and he won't walk off the screen, and the level won't end. That's happened to me twice before. And when I played this on a mask system, obviously I didn't have you know save states or anything, or or. You know, I couldn't just play this game again. You know, immediately just load the game up again, and it was really frustrating because I, when I first played this, I had um, this on the master setup, and I found it quite difficult to get up to Oni. Uh, now I don't, of course, because I find this game easy now. But when I found it difficult, I found it quite difficult to get up to Oni, and it was really frustrating after I defeated Oni and the game glitched and I couldn't finish it. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't use save states with this uh, with any of my. Um, Playthroughs, unless I, uh, unless I need them to show you something. Anyway, um, I just defeat Oni, but uh, but yeah, you will see after I defeat him that that Ricky has to touch his mask and walk over it. If you uh, move back a bit, um, you'll see in a sec. Anyway, so just two more hits. There we go. One more. There we go. Done. You see, he has to walk over it. If it's behind him when you defeat him, um, Ricky will walk back, will retreat, and then walk off the screen. But if if the mask is uh, is hit off the screen, the the level won't end. It's just weird. I don't understand it. Anyway, so I have five lives now, and here's level five. Uh, the enemies are easy. They state in the manual that they're um, black women. Um, 
and the bosses, there are three middle bosses, and each one is a pair of blonde-haired flamethrower-wielding women. That was annoying, I, I really wanted that. But uh, yeah, it's the same strategy for the, for the red swordsman in the last level, just concentrate on one, that's it, just going mad on her, there we go, and then, and then the next one. One more hit. You are annoying. There we go. Good, that's most of my health back. Yeah, and the next two middle bosses are, are another pair of them. It's, uh, it's pretty uninspired. Just keep moving forward. Don't... Don't stop moving. Get the health. Oh, an another pair. So just jump over the first flame attack. I hate it when they cross because I can't remember which one I've hit. Good, that's that one dead. Good. Uh, one more pair of them. Hopefully I'll get another Chinese symbol because I don't think I'll be able to survive another. Good. More health. Good. Uh, I, sh I should be able to do this now. I missed that first Chinese symbol and it meant I lost a bit of health on the on the bus there. Right, uh, so one more. Good, is that done? I just don't bother trying to avoid the flames, just just concentrate on, on on punching them and killing them. There we go, that's the the middle boss is done. You're not as hard as as the uh the pair of red swordsmen from the last level, but uh they can be tricky, especially three pairs of them. Okay, here's Rita. Just have to explain about this one. Um, yes, the graphics are weird. I think that's a picture and two busts of the last boss, Wang, because Rita is supposed to be her, um, his bodyguard. Um, Rita is a strange boss. You you have to you, you have to attack her in a special sequence. Um, any other sequence, and you won't take any health off her. You have to do a standing kick first, and a standing punch, then a low punch, then a low kick, and then um, do that sequence again. Do that sequence twice to so take all her health off. And then the only way to finish her is to let her jump. And when and when she's um, going down, falling down, you have to do a jump kick. It's quite tricky to pull off sometimes, but uh, I can usually do it first time. Anyway, so a standing kick first. So if you do that again. Uh, she's probably going to do an attack now. She'll attack eventually. There we go. Let her do that, and, and then then go and let's just duck that. That's annoying. That. Just do a punch, then a low punch, then a low kick. That's it. And then it's half a health off. If you do any other any other attack, go away. If you do any other attack, it won't hurt her. So, another low kick. That's it, it's all the health off. Now, you have to do a do a jump kick. Here we go. Yes, got a first time. Yeah, so if you do any other attack than in that sequence, you won't take any health off. If you do two standing kicks in a row, I tried to demonstrate there, but I was losing too much health. Um, if you do any other attack, um, it won't take any health off. You have to do it in that order, and you won't defeat it unless you do a, a, a jump kick. Right, there are... Um, um, I want to make a save state here because there are two different strategies for this. There's uh, the glitched cheating strategy, which is utterly ridiculous but is very effective, and there's the proper way to defeat him, which is the manly way of doing it. So I'm just going to pause the video and create a um, save state. Um, and then I'll show you both. I'll show you both ways. So here we go. Okay, so I've made a um, save state, and um, now I'm going to show you the uh, the glitch strategy first, uh, the cheat strategy, which pretty much gets all his health off. Um, you have to defeat Wang. The only way to finish him when he's on his last little bit of health is is to do a standing punch. So you have to sort of uh, get past his guard. You, you'll probably take health, but um, any other attack will take a little bit of health off. Every attack type gets the same amount of health off, but it's not as much as on the last bosses. It's only half of that, so, uh, so a, a little amount. And um, 
and uh, if you um, if you don't manage to get all his health off after doing this glitch, you will have to uh, um, you'll have to get his health off in other ways, which can be tricky. So if you want to do this glitch, it's best to get as many punches in as possible. So here we go. So you duck in the corner as far back as possible and then wait for him to jump and then as soon as he's behind you keep punching his legs. And if you notice you can't take any more health off. So you have to finish him with a standing punch like that. And um, and that's that. But I want to show you the proper way of defeating him so I'm going to stop the video there and, and load my save state. Just after the music finishes. Right, so I've loaded my save state, um, so I can show you the proper way of getting him, the, the non-cheat way. Um, yeah, it's quite tricky. Um, Wang it blocks a lot. He, if you ever miss an attack on him, he p punishes you mercilessly, and even if you manage to get an attack in, he will punish you for it. The best way to attack him is is when he jumps and when he, when he when he falls after his jumps and um, punches his leg uh, the, the glitch works from earlier because he's um he's falling and you're punching his legs and that's the best way of attacking him but he can't move away you can't punch him away because he's against the wall which is why you can repeatedly punch him that's why the glitch works um you can do other attacks on him you um jump kicking is a very good strategy when only when he corners you don't don't rely on jump kicks and um don't bother low kicking or low punching in fact for the whole game low kicking and low punching is awful and don't under any circumstances uh, do a normal standing kick it is absolutely useless and he'll punish you every time for doing it I have managed to get a few hits in with that but not without losing loads of health so anyway here we go so when he, when he jumps just get him once like that and again and then move away immediately see he punished me there even though I managed to get a hit in like that that's it Make sure you don't miss, otherwise he will punish you. Sometimes you can get two punches in like that. No, you got one there. He punished me for, for he punished me for the attempt. That's it. Just keep doing that. And he's calling me now, so do a, a jump kick. That's it. Another jump kick, or just a jump, just to get out of there, and then move away. That's it. And then if you notice, you can't get the last bit of health off because the only way to finish him, like I said before in the last, when I, uh, during my attempt at the uh, at the glitched way of getting him the only way to, to finish him is with a standing punch so just do a standing punch which is actually proving quite difficult for some reason That's it. finally got it, I was a bit worried there and then uh, he'll turn into a statue which is what was happening in the last, well when I, during my glitched attempt um, he has to go in the middle that's it, finally. Took his time. Oh, that was almost comical. I've, I've never actually done that, got him on the edge before. So he, he did that, it was ridiculous. <laughs> he's sort of walking slowly to the middle to turn into a statue or something. Anyway, now that he's a statue, um, Ricky goes to rescue um, his, his girlfriend, um, Kyoko. And then we read the thing. Um, you finally defeated the boss and temporarily brought peace to the world. Now with the experience you've gained and Kyoko's love to sustain you, continue to battle onward to an even more rousing victory. Yes, uh, there is a chapter 7 and but to do it you have to put in a code on this screen which I'm doing now and if it works it means I um, get to chapter 7. There we go. I'll just pause it to explain. Right, um, on that screen of text explaining the ending there, um, you, you t t to get to chapter 7, which is like a survival mode of all, all six bosses, um, you, have to hold button you have to hold buttons 1 and 2 while tapping up. Um, keep doing this continuously until the screen goes and then you'll, go you'll get to the... Uh, get to the chapter 7 sort of intro screen. If you don't do that cheat or if you did it incorrectly you'll get to the, the the game over screen which is a red screen you'll see it after I do this survival mode a red screen with a Chinese symbol in the bottom right corner or a Japanese symbol whatever it is I don't really know the difference um, 
Right, so uh, yeah, this is a survival mode. We do all six bosses one after the other, and we only get the score after we do all six bosses. Um, the health carries over from boss to boss, so the health isn't in, uh, put back to the top after you do each boss. It's only um, it's only replenished if you lose a life. Lives are also carried over as well, so try to finish the game with as many lives as possible so you have lots of attempts at this. Uh, I have done this before without losing any health. I've done all all six bosses without losing any health. Obviously on the sixth on the sixth boss I did the uh I, I did the glitch. But uh on on this version I'll see if I can do the uh, the proper strategy for the uh, the last boss. The only bosses that give that make me lose a lot of health really are actually the first two bosses. I find only easy because he's predictable once you know the right strategy and I find Rita quite easy but uh, uh Ryu is actually quite difficult. He's easy but difficult not to lose any health on so uh I'll see how I do. Uh, Hawk is usually easy as well, and Gonta is usually easy, but can be a problem. Obviously, Wang is very difficult. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, good. First hit in. Now oh, he got me the SOB. I hate this boss. I really do. I always lose health on it. It's very difficult not to lose health on it. Oh, he's being annoying. Oh, every time. Got me again. Good. Hate him. Ah, oh, one more hit. Thank you. Can't believe he took off more than half my health there. I, re I was a really, I was a really bad um, go at this boss. I'll probably end up losing a life, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's very difficult not uh, not to lose a life on this, to be honest. Uh, Hawk. Good. He did his. Uh, Thing. I'll kick him this time because it's actually uh, the better strategy, really. Because punching it doesn't take much health off the first time. There we go. Oh, one more hit. There we go. Lost one more bit of health there. I'll see how I do on, on uh, Gonta. I probably will end up losing a life at some point, either on Gonta or Rita. I'd be surprised if I make it to Wang without losing a life. There we go. Oh, he got me. There he got me. Yeah, um, I mistimed the jumps there, never mind. Right. Good. Sit. Really punish him for that. Good. Fourth boss. I can usually do this boss without using any health at all, and unless I sort of mistime the punch. Yeah, that was mistimed, but luckily he didn't punish me for it. Good. See, his mask sort of half half comes off there when you punch him. It's weird. No, I missed him. Yeah, don't try any other attack. You you you'll be punished for it. Only do a standing punch. It. Haven't lost any health yet. Uh, three more hits. Two more hits. I like the the background. It's quite good on this on this boss, like a mountain or something. There we go. Done. See, he has to walk over it. Right. Um. Here's Rita again. So, kick, punch, low kick, low punch. Right, punch, good. Low punch. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> it's very difficult to kick because, it's best just to do a jumping kick really because that also works instead of the standing kick. Because the, the kick is actually sort of short range, surprisingly. Right, low punch. This is also quite tricky to pull off the low punch. Oh. Probably going to lose another life on this. 
Yep. Yeah, she's being really annoying. Right, kick. No, I'll just do a jump kick. It's easier. Good. Good. Alright, there's no health on that one. Good god of that time. There we go. Now just wait for the inevitable. No. Nope. Good. Yeah, she can be quite tricky, Rita. But it is very difficult to do chapter seven without losing a life. Because your health isn't replenished afterwards. Hence it's uh, a survival mode. Right, here's Wang again. I'll do him the proper way. Good. Good two hits there. Come on. That's it. Get rid of him. And again. Oh no. <laughs> if he does the long jump, the long jump, you can usually get two hits in. Yeah, I'm nearly dead actually. Good, one more hit. I just had to get the standing punch in now. Oh. Yeah, I had to get the standing punch in, but I had no health left. Because <laughs> you have to finish him with a standing punch. Can't believe I've lost three lives on this. Alright, so here we go. Good. Yeah, if he corners you, just do a jump kick or, or jump to get out of there. I went for it there, foolishly. I'm trying to get underneath him as well. So he doesn't corner you. One more hit, then I have to do the standing punch. There we go. There, uh, um, got it. Yes, it looks like he's won. It looks like he's sort of celebrating. Yes, I've lost at last. Yeah, um, Wang is supposed to be Ricky's equal, apparently, in training. Yeah, that's the game over screen you get if you don't put the, the level 7 code in. And that's it. That's the end of the game. So level 7 is just an extra, really. You, you complete the game after level 6. Right, but I just showed you the extra chapter just for completion. So I don't really mind losing three lives on it, but it is tough. I have done it before without losing any health, believe it or not. Can't believe I actually managed to get really good at this game. I think when I did it, I did, uh, I definitely did the the cheat strategy on Wang. Anyway, that's the end of uh, end of Black Belt. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably do another video soon. This is the first one I've done in about three or four weeks, I think. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.